shared about touring in Russia. Can you share a little bit of what happened? It was so fascinating to me when I read that. About the Russian. Mm -hmm. When you went and toured and did a, yeah. a concert there. Yeah, we did three weeks. We did several concerts. Jim Hall's our manager, and he also managed Roy Clark. Uh, we all went to Russia together on a cultural exchange program is how we went. Uh, it was a State Department uh, sanctioned cultural exchange program. We spent three weeks in Russia. We first flew into Moscow. We took a train ride on an old dilapidated train that looked to be like 75 years old train. It was a coal powered, you know, they had to put coal heated and you walk down the aisles on the train and it, people in these little cubic, and the people carried their food with them, you know, I mean, you could smell all these different foods. But it was, a, it was an educational experience. We got on a train and rode from Moscow overnight to, uh, to Latvia, to Riga in Latvia. Stayed there for a week and performed five nights. And then we went to Leningrad, which is St. Petersburg, spent a week there and did like five nights of concerts there. And then from there, we took the Red Eye, the Red, what, the Red Express, Red Arrow Express or something, it's their best train from Leningrad then back to uh, Moscow. But it was uh, when we were in Riga in Latvia, some of us had to, they put guys uh, W up in rooms over there and things. And it was looked like a new hotel, but everything was deteriorating inside. It was stuff falling off the walls. And anyhow, they put me and Joe Bonzel in the same room together. We had these little bunk beds. And uh, I remember Joe was on that tour. He had this book, Helter Skelter, with him on that book, on that trip. Joe was over in his bunk reading that book, and I'm not sure, I was just laying there thinking about sorting out everything that was going on where we were. And our door opened, I mean, it come, you heard a rattle at the door and people come walking in our room, and it was like three guys with uh, some kind of outfit sewn man, and they had like a uh, first, uh, uh, electronic things with a mm -hmm. handle on it. They were checking for any kind of electronics in our room, and it was just craziest thing. I didn't know what was going on, and Joe didn't either, but uh, it, it went down. They were in there. I tried to ask them what was. They couldn't understand me, and I couldn't understand them, but they wouldn't talk. And... Uh, they was around our room, looked under our bed and looked in our closets. And I mean, it was like, it was happening so quick, you didn't know what's going on. Then they're gone. So uh, it's like no privacy. But you know, it was an education for me. You learn what real communism is mm -hmm. and uh, what socialism really is. I mean, you spend three weeks into a communist dictatorship control country and you realize the, the difference in freedom and capitalism and communism where there's a free enterprise and whether there's a control that the government owns everything that you have they own your home your car your refrigerator your stove if your stove goes out you have to fill out papers for it it may be three months or it may be three years before you get another one. But the government owns everything. They own everything that you own that becomes the government's. They own it and they own you. And then you become a slave to the government in today's society. So figure that out. Yeah.